How's it going, my fellow geeklings? My name is Scott Anthony Christie, and today I am bringing you a brand new rendition of the rebooted pro wrestling chapter here on the Auburn Phoenix. I want to get on and talk about my progress with All Style Academy. At the end of the day, this video series is just for me um, to look back on when like, I get to a point, like if, if the wrestling doesn't work out, I can say I gave it a, a very good crack. Yesterday, I felt was a little bit of a not a brick wall per se, but it was a point where I thought, yeah, my limits have definitely been reached and I need to work harder. But that's not a bad thing because even though we went into cardio doing like just before like we actually started learning any sequences, it was very difficult. Like I thought my cardio was okay. I go on the treadmill regularly. I go on the, I go swimming quite a lot. But when you're training as a wrestler, it's a completely different kettle of fish. When we were doing the leapfrog section or the drop down section, I was just so, so burnt out. I just thought, I can't do this. I can't get up and finish this sequence. But as angry as I was like for not being able to even do a leapfrog or something like that, I, we just did the lucha pass where it was like, I dropped down, get up, push the opponent past me. And I found it really difficult. Maybe the warm up didn't help because Obviously, I wasn't used to that warm-up, but it's good to see where your limits are. It's good to see how far you can push yourself. It's just going to get used to what you do. Like, I could go to training every single week and do that leapfrog sequence, and I guarantee, like, maybe six months down the line or maybe a month down the line, I don't know how long it'll take me, but I'll be able to do that with ease because that's the thing. If I push hard and I say to myself, it's like, okay, that wasn't that great today, so next time, that's what I need to work on. I need to build up my cardio, and I need to get further. And that's what I was really proud of in this session. Like, even though I was really, really sick, and I thought I was gonna vomit, I thought I was gonna pass out at times, I still carried on. And if you carry on, that's the most rewarding thing. Because, like, it's, it's easy for anyone to say, I'm stopping, I can't, just because they're tired. But if you push yourself and you get get to the very end, that is an accomplishment. When you see people who do marathons, they're not racing, they're going at their own pace, but they will they are all going to the same destination. When I did a flip bump yesterday, like I felt I got much higher than what I used to do. Like I felt like instead of just doing a flip, I actually got up high enough to land cleanly on the mat. Like that but that's because I've tried it and tried it and tried it and tried it. And that's the only way you get better is like perseverance, hard work. Doesn't matter what you do. Like if you're if you're trained to be a wrestler, if you're trained to be a boxer, trained to be an actor, a singer, a musician, uh, I d oh, anything, whatever your trade is or whatever your craft is, you do it because you love it. You don't do it because oh I'm I'm forced to do it. You've chosen that you think I will only be happy doing this. And that is the thing. If you are happy doing it, it doesn't matter how much work it takes. It doesn't matter how long it takes for you to get to a certain destination. You love it and you keep going. And that's why I think about wrestling. So, what to expect from these pro wrestling chapters, guys? I, honestly, I don't know. Because who knows what could happen. Like, I know that All Style Academy has got a lot of ideas of where they want to go but I'm not gonna go into that because nothing's concrete yet. But all I'm gonna say is I'm really excited to go along for the ride and see where this journey takes me. Like hell, if if I'm just helping behind the scenes, if I'm helping set up the ring or taking photographs and um, like for the first few months when there's shows going on, or even if I'm like a commentator or an announcer or a referee, I don't, whatever. I'm just really happy to be involved in a business that I love. And the five-year-old version of me I would net, or hell, even the 23 year old version of me, like last year, or a bit this year, I would never have seen myself getting into wrestling at all. I hope you all have a lovely Christmas and take time to yourself, be with family, and just enjoy. And don't force yourself to do what you don't wanna do. And remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So until then guys, take care, Merry Christmas, and I shall see you very, very soon and stay tuned for more content. Take care guys, Merry Christmas.